Welcome to The Eclectic Thrifter and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. Hello! We're going to begin today with this lovely sushi server. This was $5, and it comes with six little plates. Now, this was in excellent condition. It showed no signs of use at all. And I do wipe everything out as soon as I get home with Lysol wipes. It's a sturdy material. I do not believe it is lacquerware. It would say lacquerware on the back. I believe it's plastic. But what a wonderful container. If you choose not to use it for serving sushi, it would make a nice little sewing box. Reimagine it with buttons in the top, and you can repurpose just about anything and make a cozy little home. I am all about repurposing things. Here we have a lovely little uranium glass bud vase. I picked this up for just a couple of dollars and it is absolutely stunning under a black light. These resell for between eight and sixteen dollars and you will find the right buyer for it eventually. Here we're going to look at a few brooches. I paid two dollars and fifty cents for these on fifty percent off day. And at the moment, I found no maker's marks on them. I think they're very sweet. And here we have a pair of Art Deco cufflinks. And these were $1.99. Here we have some vintage porcelain and brass drawer pulls. Now, don't disregard items such as these because they do sell. And this bundle was only a couple of dollars, as was the bundle of the knobs. And I believe I can resell these all together to outfit a kitchen for around $50 to $55. And just one of my little weaknesses, a little orphan salt shaker. I have a project coming in the fall that I'm going to uh, use these in, and I'll share that with you. Here we have a beautiful Lusterware single serve teapot. It is made in Japan, it's not occupied Japan. The mark on the bottom is blurred, it is tough to read. I do not believe it is Occupied Japan. And right beside it at the thrift store was this one. And it was also $4. I don't often pick up single serve teapots, but because these were quite charming, um, I chose to do so this day. The larger teapots, if they are Sadler or Arthur Wood or another known name, I will pick them up if they're in pretty good condition, but um, I'm pretty selective about the teapots. I use them in other projects, as I've shared in a previous crafting video. Here we have a little Bluebird of Happiness, a pair. On eBay they have sold for as little as $4 to $24. Right now you can find them anywhere from $8 to $60. Um, this is signed by Leo Ward, 1995. I paid $12 for this and I did so not for resale. It is going to be a present. It was fun to find. It was one of my little bucket list finds. Here we have a lovely Lefton Roadrunner. 
very charming piece for any den. Now this is a revisited item. I paid a dollar for this, but he can sell between $14 and $19 on eBay. Very hard to find them in such wonderful condition. And here we have a sweet little set of Atlas Amethyst Glass cream and sugar. I actually have this set in my china cabinet as I'm trying to rebuild my grandmother's set. I paid three dollars for this set on 50% off day. They resell for around twelve dollars. And here we have a beautiful little gilded quail. really beautiful. Now this little hen has a mate. And here he is. Isn't he stunning? We are just on the verge of reopening the eBay store under the Eclectic Thrifter name and these items will be listed very very soon. It's been quite a haul uh, getting this new store opened. Here we have some afghans. Uh, the two on the top are larger, are about the size for twin beds. The two on the bottom are baby afghans. I make sure that there are no pills on the afghans. Generally, if I buy them, they're, I'm pretty confident that they've not been used, but I make sure I clean them as soon as I get home. I think it's very important to make sure that any soft goods you bring into your house are cleaned right away. And I use dry L for all the afghans and velvets, any cottons, taffetas, or satins, I run right through the washing machine. You run this in your dryer on a medium heat. I've been using this for years. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this little visit. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and share this channel with your crafting and thrifting friends. We'll see you real soon. We're now on Instagram. Have a lovely day.